we slow down the traffic from behind, so this is a serious mistake in your test. Oh. to another episode of Learning to Drive with George. Getting better than this, mm -hmm. don't I? <laughs> okay, cool. So what did we do last lesson? Driving through the test center. Yeah. Uh, that's a good point. Let me put that Independent aside. driving. Yeah. And a bit of bay parking. Yes, we did bay parking and I think we looked at your parallel park as well, which you did really well. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So today we're going to recap on the independent driving, which I'm going to set up now. So we're going to follow the sat nav towards the test center again. And then um, we'll go over the last maneuver, which was the pulling over and parking on the right, which we didn't get to do. We're mainly kind of focusing on covering everything and just driving into the test center area and getting used to the roads there. Okay. Sounds good? Yeah, good. All right, whenever you're ready, we're going to start the car. I feel like you're stretching a little today, no? Are you okay? Just maybe a little bit more. That's it, yeah. Good. Okay, whenever you're ready, move off. Cyclist, hold well on. That was the best time to overtake. Uh, the only thing was that it felt like you didn't check your right mirrors to move over to the right. Okay. But you did check your mirrors to come back in. yourself getting that close. Yeah? Turn right, then take the second left. To curb. Start turning sooner. If you're waiting for a car, just bear off waiting there. Don't go too far forward, okay? Mm -hmm. After 200 yards, turn right. You're not making use of third gear enough. to keep a nice big gap where you can still overtake him. <coughs> so this is a crossroad, we're doing offside to offside turn, okay? Mm -hmm. An offside to offside turn. So we're going around these cars. Straight after, okay?
Before changing into a higher gear around traffic lights, anticipate the traffic lights. Ask yourself, have they been green for a while? At that point, it's probably not safe to change into fourth gear. So you're better off just staying in third gear, maybe after the traffic lights change into fourth gear.
after 200 yards, go round the roundabout, third exit. Go round the roundabout, third exit. Turn left, first exit. Wide. That's partly because you stayed on the gas pedal whilst going round. Remember to come off the gas and cover your brakes and clutch. After 200 yards, turn around when possible. The road ahead. Correct, so since we passed, the, when we came off the dual carriageway, all of that was, all of this is now the test center area. Okay, and I'd like us to pull over and park just behind that car on the left. Don't worry about the single yellow line on this occasion, just on the left here. You can come in at the bus stop, that's fine. That's great. Leave yourself After to your 200 to yards, turn around when possible. Okay, that's great. I'm just going to turn this off. So I was happy with the sat nav. You you know what you're doing. You know how to follow it. There's only just the one incident where uh, we were on the dual carriageway and I asked you why you were slowing down. You said to make the turn, but the turn was a lot further yeah. up. So make sure you kind of plan ahead with how far. Because it happened last time. That's why I did that. Okay, yes. Um, so probably just over worried about it. Yeah, just try to gauge how far the, the distance mm. is. So, um, if some people don't understand how far yards are, they're, they're similar, yeah, to yeah, they're similar to meters. Yeah, they're similar to meters. Okay, so if it says 100 yards, it's about 100 meters. 100 meters is not too far, it's from probably about here to where that truck is on the right side. Alright. Okay, so if it's 200 meters, it's going to double the distance and that's too, really far away at the moment. Okay, so now we're going to carry on with some more independent driving, but this is where I'm going to give you a series of directions to remember and follow. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move off. We're going to go down to the end of this road. At the roundabout, we're going to turn left. Mm -hmm. And then at the second roundabout, we're going to turn right, fourth exit, and then follow signs to Hounslow. Okay. Okay, so you want to repeat that back to me? <laughs> um, first round, end of road, first roundabout left. Yeah. Second roundabout, fourth exit, right. Yeah. Then follow signs to Hounslow. Perfect. Okay. We're oh, gonna it was going to gonna be the same roundabout, isn't it, last time? Yes, yeah, so we've done this route <laughs> before, so hopefully you won't make that same mistake again. But remember, if you do end up taking the wrong exit, as long as you've done it safely, it's perfectly mm. fine. Okay. okay. All right, good. Whenever you're ready, we're going to move on. Big turn, slow part, yeah. And this is why we stay okay, good. Well done for dipping your clutch, quick turns, that's it. And we slow down the traffic from behind, so this is a serious mistake in your test. You've got to make sure you can come into a road without slowing down. down. This is why we say when, you, when you're asked to pull over and park, make sure you leave yourself about a car's distance. So you're not really slow coming out. Correct. Because the closer you are, the slower you're going to have to come out, the bigger the turns. Yep. 
that we are doing independent driving, I've already given you directions. Okay? Mm -hmm. before segmenting? Um, no, kind of after. Correct. So remember, <coughs> kind of move our position before doing our signal so we can start coming over to the left. Mm -hmm. So just remember to check mirrors first. What's the speed on this road? I'm guessing 30. Correct. Miss the signs just when we're coming up to roundabout. There was some signs saying 20 zone ends and it's going back to a 30 <coughs> zone. Um, but remember, if you don't see no street lights or signs, uh, sorry, if you see street lights and no signs, it's the 30, 30 zone. So we're following signs too. Um. a sign yet or not? No. Okay, you missed a sign, it was just back there, okay? And you was about to do the correct thing of going straight ahead, but that's a dual carriageway and big, uh, super big roundabout, it's a three lane roundabout, um, but we're not ready for those at the moment. Okay. Okay, we're going to turn right here, so signal right, hold well on. Just look out for signs, okay? They will usually be on your left, but it can be over to the right as well, but just constantly look out for signs whenever you're following signs. I thought that sign was going to be telling us where to go. No, that's for the roundabout. There's just one here for this junction here. slightly past the box into the lane, okay? Good. So just 
just a reminder we're still following signs to Hounslow. Now if you don't see any signs, we just keep following the road ahead, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we is it rained in our lessons before? I don't think it has, you know. No, I think this is the first time. So you now just turn the wipers on or not? Well I've done a back since many, many times. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how to do it then? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this one? This is the one above. It's the same indicator one. Okay, we'll talk about it in a second, we'll just do it with this. That's it. Well done. Perfect speed by the way, good. Let's watch the curve as well. There you go, good. Take this up in. Now twist the, the end of your lever. There you go, perfect. And what setting is that on? Your second setting, you feel two clicks? Yeah. So we went to a second setting, which is the medium, what's it called it? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is okay for now. So if it feels like you can't see enough, even after it wipes, then you just turn up another one. Yeah, if it's not clearing your vision quick enough, turn it up into a higher speed. And there's four settings, okay? So we're in talking to me? No, she was talking to someone else. But your full beam is on, by the way. Let me just sort that out. There you go. Full beam. We'll talk about another lesson. Or when we get a time. Yeah, so it's, it's one of your lights. Why do all these cars have the lights on? It's daytime running lights. Oh. And we've got them as well. In some countries, it's the law. You need, you need them on. Over here, there is no law on daytime running lights, but a lot of cars have these running. I can see a sign, but it's been obstructed. Sign? Yeah, just right. Perfect. Second. Okay. And first skinner. Good. Anyone else on the right? No. Let's get moving. Now we just made it before that woman as well that was crossing. Did you see her, the lady? No. Okay, so do, do be careful with this woman. If she's not sure, just stop. Perfect. Oh, we'll wait until she clears the, the crossing, and now we can start moving. Because she had a hood over, you can't really see her and she can't see us, so just be extra careful if you're not sure. The safer thing is just to slow down or look to stop. And if she crosses, great. If she doesn't, we can carry on afterwards. That's just to tell you there's a train station yeah. here, yeah? That means we're in Hounslow. Yeah, we're getting close to it, correct. So if the examiners haven't said this then the independent driving, you're just going to keep following signs, and if you see it's no signs, just keep going, going straight ahead. Okay? I feel like it's too fast for the bend in a second. be slightly slower there because we didn't know which way the what was happening around the corner again. So lower gear would have been ideal. So there's a sign there but there was no hands low. Did you read it? Yeah. Yeah, so we just keep going straight. Now I'm going to 
change your signs to Heston. Follow signs to Heston. Okay. Now, who had priority here? Me. Correct. So just because the cars in front have overtaken yeah. does not mean it's safe for us to go. <coughs> So ideally we should have waited there for him to pass through. Because there's parked cars on our side. Isn't Correct. Was that car, was that van broken down or something? I don't think it's just parked or yeah, it could be broken down, it has its has yeah. lights on, yeah. So you've got to make sure you can go around that vehicle without slowing down yeah. oncoming cars and making them stop unnecessarily. So where are we now? We're in Hounslow. Mm -hmm. So I've changed your signs to now. Yeah, to Heston. Heston, around. yes. Heston before. Winding up, we should stay to the left. Perfect. So there's two lanes going around this bend. We've got to make sure we stay within our lane. That's perfect. Good speed. Now think about what's happening here in front of us. There's loads of people getting on that bus, so check mirrors, signal. Perfect. So we switch lanes. Then we switch back by checking the mirrors. So, so we're going Heston. Heston. Is there a sign? Yeah, do you see it? Heston right. Correct. So we switch lanes, well done. No. Okay, it's so just look. Okay, now he's letting you in. He's letting you in, he's flashing his lights, there you go. Well done. Okay, but then at the same time, plan ahead and look in front and use off. The best thing for you to do at that point was just to slow down, let him pass, so you don't keep making progress in this lane, because otherwise it would have been impossible for you to move over, because it's pure traffic here. Good. Yes, you, yeah, you do, because you have two more options on this road. Well done. You can go straight or right, so we need a signal. sign is being obstructed by the trees. I'm going to tell you it's going to be a right turn at the end of this road. Right, thank you. And the examiners will do the same thing as well. Perfect. Well done, it's a one way, so we go into the right lane and it says right turn if I'm I'd still use the signal here. Good. You're out of your lane a little bit, you're over to this side. <coughs> so how come this time we need a signal? So you have more than one option on this road. Hello. Yeah. yeah, that lane there turns left, and this lane turns right. But if right. you're in this lane, don't you only have one option? Correct, that's true, but people on the new road don't know this. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. They might think that it might be just a one way to the left, okay? Mm -hmm. Signal right. So we, okay. the rule is, if you have more than one option, we always use a signal. If the whole road goes in the same direction, there's no signal first gear. Like we're going to have to overtake, but not completely because hmm? we're just trying to overtake that van, right? Yeah, so I would have just oh, signaled to come into that lane a little bit and then come back over. Yeah, okay, we've got to turn right now. Okay, no, so we're going to still turn left, so okay. signal left. It's, we've still got enough time to switch over. Yeah, now that part of the lane to pass. That's it. Well done. Good. Turn left, you see? No, straight ahead. So we haven't seen no signs, we just wanted to go over to the right to overtake that vehicle, okay? Yeah. And we're still following signs to Heston. Also back there you moved up in second gear. Yeah. So we should try to pop it into first gear as you come into a stop, even now. First gear. The road just goes that way, you don't need a signal here. The road goes this way, there's nowhere else you can go, that's no entry, yeah? If you're confused of which way the road goes, or just look at the centre line. Perfect speed. 
leave the event. Well done. Slight overstay. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to. Actually, we, yeah, we continue following the science test. So straight ahead. Yes, please. To the road, if you have multiple lanes and um, a junction, maybe straight after, you want to try looking at the load, uh, the road markings, and figuring out which lane you need to be in. And if you remember, if you're not sure where to go, we'd carry on straight. And on this occasion, we had to stay over to the right. Okay. You're obviously checking your mirrors. If it's safe, if someone's already going to that lane, then you might have to just stay in that left lane. And if you can't move over, we make the left turn. So this left lane is left only lane, right? Correct. So that's why we had to be in. This so I don't know if you can see the mark. I saw the mark. Yeah. So it's a left only. Correct. Cool. Oh, that's really important. Is this good enough setting, do you think? So? Yeah. Just At the moment, if you feel like it's not clear enough, quick enough, then we'll turn it out. Yeah. I would check my left mirrors here just to make sure no one's trying to cut in at the last moment. Okay, that's the end of your independent driving. Okay, you're going to follow my directions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right we're going to take the next road in the right. That was a really good part there. I was really happy with that. The mirror's signal was really good. It came over quite well. Just your steering was a bit mm. off, off a little. Um, just make that smooth as well. But other than that, it was really good. Okay, mm -hmm. now I'd like you to reverse back to car lengths and rejoin the road. Steering wheel feels a bit loose. It's just because you're in a bit of rubble. Yeah, I remember reading something about and also when it's raining as well, yeah. We're going to pause there for yeah. a moment. Your observations look good. You're looking in the back window. You're looking up ahead. There's two areas where you're not looking. Now, how? What's going to? Yes, good. One's over your right shoulder, so you're not looking into yeah. these driveways to make sure no one's moving out of these driveways. And also, how? What? How are you going to know if you're getting too close to the curb? No, uh, right the right mirror. I thought yeah. you wasn't looking there. 
Yeah. I, I did a little bit. So. Yeah, but not enough, okay? So I want you to look there a lot more because remember, if the car starts to come away from the curb, the only thing that's going to really tell you is that mirror there. Mm -hmm. If you start seeing a big gap with a curb, it means you're veering into the road, and if it starts to get too small, you're getting too close to the curb. Okay? okay. So just look over your right shoulder in that mirror a bit more. Okay? Oh. Good. We're going to drive one again. The control and the speed was good, by the way. And try not to look in the camera too much. <laughs> Observations, good moving up, and that completes that maneuver. Once you come into the road, okay. Why do you have to re reverse back to the So, every maneuver has got to have a reversing aspect to it. But the main reason, if you use to ever park on the right side of the road and there's a vehicle in front of you, by reversing back, you give yourself a better view into the road. Yeah, I'm going to turn left of the end of the road. So it's an unmarked T-junction, so no one has priority. correct, no one has priority, but we take even more care here and extra kind of observations just to make sure it's 100% safe. Yeah, well, I stopped just to be safe. Correct, that's the same. Supposedly. If it was really open and you can see it's clear, we don't need to. Yeah, it wasn't. It was closed. Okay, okay I'm going to use this car in front of you to reverse parallel park now, please. Start whenever you're ready. Okay, so use the car in front to reverse parallel park within two car spaces without touching the curb, okay? And try it on your own. So your walls are not straight. Thank you.
see the car. That's the problem. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, so there's a big puddle there. No. <laughs> but you've actually done really well. I'm going to show you the curve is just right there. That's actually really good. I couldn't really tell. And I kept feeling like I wasn't in like in the in this in the box. Remember, we don't use the box. Ignore the box. Really? Yeah. The only thing you need to work with is the curve. Okay, so if you're sometimes you, your car may be on the white line on the right, which is perfectly fine. Okay, and sometimes you're not going to have a box, so you just park with the car. That's it. Okay, but for that, you managed to park the car. And this would have been a pass, except for you would have got a minor for your control and a minor for your observations. Okay, and we talk mm -hmm. about those minors. So I would have given you a minor for your observations because I feel like at some points you weren't looking in the back window enough. Your, your observations are really good, but now and again you, you stop looking in the back window mm -hmm. enough. And, um, when you did your two turns to your right to come away from the curb, I felt like you realised the gap was a bit big mm -hmm. and instead of steering back to your left to make it smaller straight away, you stayed to the right to make it even bigger. And that was the wrong way to steer basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just remember if the gap's too big, you want to come in closer to the curb, steer towards the curb. So whichever way you want the back to go, that's the way you should steer. But you managed to fix it, you realise, okay, it's gone wrong, let me go forward, you went forward to fix it and you reverse back perfectly there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you would have passed this. You would have got two minors. Mm -hmm. Understand that? Yeah. Alright, good. I'm gonna drive one. Um, actually, should we do a little bit more independent driving? Yeah, let's do some set lap driving. Give me a second. Let me just pick a route. got to make sure you can ask yourself can I come into this road build the same amount of speed without slowing anyone down and obviously we need a bigger gap for 40 miles per hour this car's good no? yep and lane's clear but keep it nice and slow just so you can stay within your lane and then once you get into the lane keep left keep left and now build your speed quicker check your mirrors as well
Okay, good. The sat nav driving is pretty good. I feel like you know what you to do, what you're doing with the sat nav. When it came to the following of the signs, a couple of signs, I feel like I had to prompt to get you looking at them. Um, just remember, when you're following signs, keep looking out for them. If you miss some, fair enough. Just keep on the road ahead, or just say, you know what, I think I'm gonna go straight ahead at this junction because I didn't see a sign. And if the examiner realizes, wait, you missed a sign, then they might direct you, and it might be a minor for your planning and awareness. Don't start panicking. Start making up your own routes and. Start mm -hmm. doing sudden turns if you see a sign suddenly. Okay. Um, we're just going to keep working on this. It will just keep getting better and better. And next lesson, we're going to start looking at three lane roundabouts. Cool.